welcome to my channel um this is the better moment with social butterfly thank you so so much for watching this video um pfft, i know i went on a long break but <laughs> before i continue i would like to say a very very big well done <clears throat> to all the content creators around the world oh my goodness consistency getting content and being consistent with it is not easy even if the content creator is just doing a one minute or 30 seconds you know activity or random banter whatever it is it's not easy to be consistent and i appreciate your all the efforts you put in it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> anyway on today's episode it's just a random banter about how to get pregnant or <laughs> in your 30s or getting pregnant in your 30s uh how easy it is or how hard it is the myth around it um so quickly um i got pregnant in my 30s i didn't even know i was pregnant uh the whole story backwards is when i got married i and my husband decided that a couple of years or two years we wouldn't you know have children so we did you know have time for ourselves figure out the marriage and all that so we we didn't start trying until after two years and yeah when that year came we started trying now anxiety crept in i was so anxious i was like what's going on why am i not pregnant this is the year we've prayed to god for what's going on little did i know that one god's time is not my time biological clock has totally nothing to do with god's timing i'm speaking now from a spiritual perspective and um when you're ready when 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 god says i think you're ready now you're ready physically you're ready mentally you're ready somewhat financially yeah but your body has to be ready for it okay so um i'm that kind of girl who hates period because i always have this menorrhea i hate menstruation so menstruation gives me a headache so um that year when we started trying um i was having um months where i've got delay in my period or my period doesn't come at all or it comes and it stays for long so i was a bit skeptical i was a bit scared rather i had to contact the gp and like what's going on am i sick uh, do i have fertility issue now this was my anxiety playing mad tricks on me you know mentally and then um, my GP referred me to um, run some hormonal tests, which I did, and it came out okay. So basically, my hormones were okay. It was they weren't raging. There was nothing wrong with me. I did. He also did some fertility tests. I was absolutely fine. Same as my husband. 